The global COVID-19 pandemic did not begin at a wet market in Wuhan that's been blamed for the outbreak. Researchers have looked into the market. They've looked into the animals that were at the market from which the virus might have jumped from animals to humans. And tissue sample after tissue sample has shown that while lots of people did get sick at the market, none of the animals at the market were sick. That means that wherever the virus made the jump, it didn't make the jump there. It most likely what happened there, according to researchers I spoke to, is that the virus was already in someone visiting the market and there was a super spreader event. One of these events where someone goes around and without meaning to infects a lot of people. The virus was found on surfaces of the market. The viruses were, the virus was found in many people who went to the market, but it was not found in any of the animals. That's important because we know that for a pandemic like this to happen, the virus has to make the jump from an animal infected with the virus to humans. This determination was made by experts at Wuhan's Institute of Virology. Colin Carlson, who's a US-based expert who wasn't involved in the determination but has looked at the same data, said it's almost certainly correct. Carlson explained to me that from pretty early on in the pandemic, there's been no evidence that the virus actually made the jump at that market. It wasn't crazy to think that the jump might have happened there. You know, what you need typically for a virus to jump from animals to humans, uh, and we know this virus started in bats, is for the virus either to jump from the bats to the humans or to jump from the bats to another animal to the humans. And that can happen at a market like this where live animals are sold. The animals are pretty close together. They can spread the disease back and forth between each other. Uh, it's possible for the virus to spread to another species of animal at the market. And they're pretty close to humans. So either this new species or the original bats could potentially spread it to the humans. This is what happened in 2002 during the SARS epidemic. However, it really seems like it didn't happen here, at least in the case of this market. Could be another market if it wasn't this one. Uh, the reason Carlson said that he's never really taken seriously the idea that spread happened at the market is that the only evidence was ever that there were a bunch of people infected there. But people, as we know from our experience in the US, can get infected in all sorts of different crowded situations. And this market was a crowded situation uh, where people were walking around and potentially spreading it back and forth from each other. And there's been a really thorough effort to check all the animals in the market, check their tissues for the virus. And the data from that examination, which has been released publicly, experts all over the world have examined it, doesn't give any indication that any animals at that market were sick. So, the next question you might have is, so where did the outbreak happen? How did it cross from animals to humans? And the answer is right now we don't know. Uh, some of the early theories, both you know now this main one and a number of other less credible ones have been debunked. They've been studied carefully and they're just not, they, they, there isn't a compelling case that the virus made the jump from animals to humans in any of the situations that have been studied so far. And the reality is it may take a really long time for us to know where that jump actually happened. This is a virus that's difficult to trace. Uh, Carlson compared it to Ebola. You know, when an Ebola pandemic starts, the symptoms are pretty obvious and pretty similar in almost everyone it infects. So it's, and they, kept, they happen pretty quickly. So it's not too hard to trace it back from one person to another, to another, to another, to the beginning of the outbreak. In this case, where the uh, virus you know, takes so long to develop, where the symptoms are so different from one situation for, to another, where we don't even really know when the coronavirus started spreading, it's much harder to make that kind of determination. The first major coronavirus outbreak of the 21st century was SARS. And it started at a market like this, and it was eventually traced all the way back to a group of bats in a cave. But making that full determination, tracking a virus like this down, tracking a tricky coronavirus down, really can't be done in a few months, Carlson said. You need years. The final determination of the, you know, the cave that the SARS virus came from didn't actually happen until 2017. That was when the paper was published. The made scientists really certain that was where it came from. Right now, you know, it's possible to rule sites out like this market's been ruled out. 
it's going to be much harder to get a conclusive answer in the near future. That said, you know, as Carlson pointed out, there's been a ton of funding already poured into investigating this outbreak. Uh, there will likely be more funding in the future, so we can expect a lot of work being done to track down the origins of this virus. But if anyone says they have a conclusive answer right now, they probably don't. I'm Rafi Lester with Live Science. Thanks for watching. Thank you.